This is the first beginning step to mounting the rear bed. As many of the videos have showed you, you bolt together the left and right bedside, the front wall, and I do those little side supports on each side as well. I drill all the holes for the front tray, and then after I mount the front tray to make sure the holes are lined up, I remove the front tray. And then here is how I position the bed and the rear surround. This will be in black gel coat. I always pre-paint stuff before I install it. Um, you know, I slide it in at the right height. You'll see uh, right here, you know, this, sli this slides into the cut. This is a rough fit. I grind all this down before I use panel bond and I push it all the way in. But this gives me the height. Remember, this is not final installed. It's installed for height. So it slides under there so I know this height is right. Come down. When I have the aluminum wall here loose, I grab the bottom of this and I pull it up a little bit, make sure it's almost touching right here. And here's the key. I install the side piece. There's one bolt uh, hole for the speaker that's underneath there. I oval it out and I use this, or oval it out, I drill it out 5 16 and I don't install any others. I just use this to hold this height. Now you'll see there's a little bit of a gap out here for the body to slide under there, but you can see the inside area is almost flush. I don't use the spacer anymore. There's a little one eighth inch spacer that you have in the kit that you can use in there if you have too big of a gap. If you lift the bed and then you cinch it down, you know, with this side piece right here, you can put a wood under piece of wood under here, whatever you want to do, that will hold the bed in the right height at the front. And then what you're watching for is that little radius bar. See how I had to smash that down right there? Well, to clear the middle of the uh, bed on some of the cars, you have to smash that down. And the reason I had to do that was the rear tray in the back here. Let me just show you this tray right here, right? Those, uh, the front of this tray has holes that line up with the top bumper hole. And if you look inside here, that, you know, that front tray, there's a bolt in there. And it should be about at this height. Uh, if you go up a little bit sometimes or down a little bit, you might have an easier time lining things up. But that gives you the front at the right height, the rear at the right height, and then on the inside, I can show you briefly. It's a little dark in here, but you can take a look and see. Um, I'll mount a couple of rivets on the inside here just to hold it. And here's the right height. Take a look. Can you see that oval, this oval hole here? There's about 3 16 of steel above it. And then I'll rivet that down. If you see this hole kind of with tons of metal above it or right about even, you know, at the top, you'll know you're a little off. So this is the oval hole. If I zoom back, that's what you can see. I cut these speaker holes for the customer. But uh, that gives you an idea of the height of the front wall. And there's a look on the inside. Just about touching here. Room for the body to slide in here. And then without any bolts, you know, this moves. This is not really fixed. We're just using it for height. Hopefully that gives you a good insight uh, into how to mount the, the, this, this correct uh, height for this rear surround to the wall and getting the first screws installed to mount the bed.